Cheers. We sit down. It's been a bit full on today. What? Yeah. Where'd you get tired from? Up here shutting your laptop? I reckon you crawl under those cars just to have a kit, you know? Yeah, right. Boss has been off on one all day. What happened? Oh, something wearing lipstick and driving a flashy car, apparently. Seemed a bit off earlier. I wasn't sure you really want to do this. Well, I'm here, Arthur. Have another beer. I hope you work that out, shall I? It's about half nine, so another one might take you to almost ten o'clock. Do what? Well, by then you can start reminding me of what a hard day at the garage you've had. Now you need to get home, right? What are you kicking off for? <laughs> to fill in the silence. Before we leave and I spend the rest of the night wondering what your problem is, again. You know, I don't need this, all right? I thought that maybe this was going somewhere. I honestly don't have a clue what you're talking about. Well, think about it then. And while you're at it, you might want to sort out whatever's going on in there. Because I swear, mate, you carry on like this. I have a pretty lonely life. Aaron, can you chuck us... You better not be texting again. Mm, why don't you keep your nose out? What's it this time, eh? No, in fact, don't tell me, because that would mean I give a damn. Right, cheers for that. I pay you to work, right? Not mope about the place like a wounded dog. Says you, Moody. And isn't it me that pays the wages? Go on, take another lunch. It's a car, Dad. Deal with it. What are you doing here? Well, you've run me enough times. Well, that didn't mean for you to come here, though, did it? Look, if you want to tell me what's going on, then do, but I can't be dealing with all this mess in the bar. Seven tonight, in the pub. You are in there? If you think I'm shouting across a crowded bar, you can think again. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I see. Aaron, why don't you sit over there and I'll bring a couple of pints over? in there, glowing, like a pig. Before you start, I'm having a double, please. I'll have red wine, Tal. Do you know, in our work, counselling a teenager don't make you Jeremy Kyle. I never knew how much you'd been through, poor kid. We'll be adopting an ex. <laughs> you gonna chill out? You're the one pushing to come here. Dad, stop staring. He looks even more nervous than Harry. Poor old Jackson. Hey. He's hardly just walked away, has he? Who, yeah, Aaron or Jackson? I was that that question? Dad? So you're going to tell me about the sex or what? How do you mean? Well, it doesn't take a genius. It's not over, is it? Actually, it is. And it's not. I knew it. You don't. You really don't. That is full on. Mm. Tell me about it. Well, it explains a lot. The moodiness. Poor guy. Don't patronise him. I'm not. Seriously, that must have been really, really tough. On both of you. So, do you reckon he'll come in? Can I make a suggestion? If he hasn't come by the time we finish these, we enter town. All right, then. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Mum! Mum, what are you doing in there? Is this some attempt to stop me going? I'm coming! Yeah, neither can I sometimes. Boss, run! Mum, come on, hurry up! Come on, quick! Come on, hurry up! <laughs> 